So we're currently in a school bus. You probably have a lot of questions right now. All right, all right, let's take this back to catch you guys up. Meet Megan, Landon, and Oakley. He's so cute. They've been converting their school bus into a tiny home for a year now. They were making pretty good progress until this adorable little monster came into the picture about six months ago. Between parenting and working, they found themselves at a standstill for the last few months. So when Jay asked if anyone in the Texas area needed help with their schoolie a few weeks back, they reached out to us. So I am offering my services. With two builds already under our belt, we're pretty confident we'll be able to get a lot done. But we only have 72 hours to complete as much in the bus as we possibly can. I'm just so freaking pumped though. And cramming so much into such a short period of time, things were bound to get a little chaotic. Oh my god, Kelsey! <laughs> So now that you guys are caught up to speed, let's get started. Thank you. The guys started off by drilling a hole for the shore power, so they'll be able to plug in whenever they can. Your battery's on. Trade you. Woo! Yay! <laughs> there we go. People complete. <laughs> then they started the daunting task of electrical. My job was almost equally as challenging. Look, everyone, <laughs> she's doing. <laughs> she's as Jay taught Landon how to wire, Landon and Megan taught us something else that was also pretty important to daily life eating sunflower seeds. Go for it, Jay. Yeah. So they're teaching us how to eat sunflower seeds. <laughs> it's a definite <laughs> good <laughs> trade. I mean, they're going to build the bus with us and we're going to teach them how to eat sunflower seeds. I can't flip on its side. Oh like, that's my. Normal. How many that's, do you have? Just that's one? That's what you do. One. Yeah. <laughs> Are you kidding? I'm talking. And then, <laughs> if you don't have a cup, you, you like so break it open right here and you eat it and then you put the leftover <laughs> over here and you spit them all out later. Jay, did you give up? He's like, I'd rather switch them over. The first day, the guys worked pretty late as TD and long as the electrical can be, we always try to break it up with some fun. Turbulence that little baby face. Say anything and they won't notice. Good job, guys. That Doing a really good job. Jamie eats his boogers. All right, end of day one. It's 10.38 p.m. And the guys are figuring out what materials they need. But got a lot done today, I think they did. Guys, what did you get done today? You did a lot of wiring. I pretty much hooked up all the solar components, but we're waiting on a few things to come in from Amazon. So. As always. And then Megan and I filled in all the holes. Yeah. Look at those holes that are no longer there. The holes bother me, you guys. Like, I have a problem. What Just gotta cover them. <gasps> we missed a hole. <laughs> Good morning, you guys. From Texas. It is cold. It's supposed to snow today. This might cause some problems. There's no heat in the bus. Freezing. We'll see how the guys handle that. Outside for like a minute, my hands are already frozen. Freaking crazy. <laughs> I'd rather well, make more food. Blood. That's all that I do. <laughs> That's important. Before day two got started, we filled up with some quick tacos made by the amazing Megan. If there's one thing we learned early, it's that we'll never starve here. The guys started putting up their first wall. The bottom. There's nothing quite like being there to watch the excitement in Megan and Landon's eyes as they watch their dreams slowly get closer to becoming a reality. Look, well, we almost have like a bedroom. Like, have you seen this? <laughs> I'm just so freaking pumped though, like for real. Just look at it! What do you think? Yeah, I love it. I love it, I love it. Oh. I got a slacker. <laughs> While Megan and I sanded all the holes in the ceiling, the guys used a curve finding tool to get the angle of the ceiling for the next few walls. All right, it's about five o'clock. Got lots of walls going up. Jay just is a machine, he doesn't stop. He's just gonna keep going. <laughs> but I'm getting hungry. You guys don't wanna see a bunch of hungry. Yeah, you don't, I get hangry. We're probably gonna go to the store, come back, and you guys are gonna have like 10 more walls up. But. Yep. Here's our pantry. Oh, that's huge. Yeah, there's Liam's space. Liam's space is literally the size of our van. Yeah. <laughs> Jay, what are you what are you thinking? Your wires are going. My wires are going? You're in your brain. We're gonna frame the back wall to the bedroom. Yeah. Oh, nice. AC will sit and a gorgeous headboard will reside. 
The guys were making a ton of progress, but we made sure to find time every night to come together and become this little family. As much as we enjoyed life on the road in our van, it's always nice when you can enjoy some luxuries normal people have for a few days, like sitting at a dining room table. We're gonna enjoy this. I haven't even had hardly a bite and Jay's almost done with this, so. <laughs> Day three, yeah, day three started a little different than we expected. Hey, I'm Jay. Welcome to our channel. <laughs> what the crap? Guys, I lost my mind. Oh my god, Kelsey! At least you can wear a hat. <laughs> Look, you know, I think you should just leave it. You are bold. <laughs> <laughs> I look like the guy from Sonic, Mr. Egg. This is gonna be needed. This is... Yeah. That's like bold. I should have gone this short. <laughs> should not oh, have What we don't want to do is cut your ear. Oh. God, your hands are so cold. Look at your little. I gotta like, hold my head. You couldn't do that with Bye. hair. Maybe the build was starting to get to Jay, but I do have some good news. We don't have Freddie Mercury anymore. Look at him! I, I oh, forgot one of our... Circa 2021 vibe. Yes, yes. The guys started with, what do you know it? Putting up some more walls. Then they secured the water tank before quickly adding the hot and cold water lines. Next up was the diesel heaters. This 40 foot beast of a bus was getting two of them. That was all they could really do before having to get back to running electrical. Not the most fun of tasks, but definitely a necessary one if you ever want to be off grid. It's cold. It's so, so cold. All right, it's our last night here. Woo! And it's like almost 11 o'clock. <laughs> the guys have been at it all day, doing some pretty unfun things. Getting the wire. It's, it's been fun. The wires <laughs> are a little tedious. A little tedious, right, Jay? How are you feeling? Yes. <laughs> We're about to go get honey butter chicken biscuits from Whataburger, Ooh. and these two have never had Whataburger, which is kind of like a sin. As Jay and Landon are finishing up the wires, we're going to save the day with some Whataburger. Don't know what that is, but I'm excited. <laughs> As our last night was coming to a close, it was crazy to think about how much the guys got done in just 72 hours. They framed all the walls for the rooms, ran all the PEX plumbing, set up all the water filters and pumps, ran all the 12 volt and 120 volt wires, set up the battery bank, solar, and all the electrical components, wired the distribution panel, got power running to the outlets, and installed two diesel heaters. Insanity. But it became pretty clear early on that it didn't really matter how much we got done in that amount of time. We were never going to complete the bus, but it wasn't about that. It was about giving Megan and Landon the confidence to overcome their doubts and continue their build. It was about helping them get one step closer to living their dreams. These are the friendships we'll have for a lifetime, and we know that because every friendship we make on the road is unbreakable. He just scared himself a few times when he saw himself in the window today. Yeah. He's like, whoa, I just saw myself again. When you meet people whose visions align so strongly with yours, you connect in a way that's different to anyone else. So many of us spend years looking for ways to fit in, ways to change who we are in order to meet the expectations of others. People living nomadically or taking steps to do so are letting go of those expectations. And in doing that, they feel free. It was tough to leave after spending the last three nights together. But as you may remember with everyone else we've met on the road, we never say goodbye. We say, we'll see you soon. Yeah, What's going on? Oh, I'm stuck. I was playing with Pippa. Pippa, help me. <laughs> help me, Pippa. I'm stuck. <laughs> mm, that's good. Sanded Red Bull. <laughs> She's crazy. It's a 10 out of 10. <laughs> Say <laughs> All of the blue squares? What's wrong? James what are y'all freaking James. laughing at? I love me at Jamie. Are James. you listening, Kelsey? I know, I'm really James not taking anything in. <laughs> I closed the door and he's all sad. You don't live there. Oh. Don't move the camera! Dear Lord. You're touching me now, but you're <laughs>